Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a rectangle by multiplying side lengths. Now, in our previous area videos, we learned about using unit squares and counting those squares to find area. Then we related that to addition and multiplication. Now we're at the point where we are just going to use multiplication. Let's jump into number one, where we have a rectangle with side lengths of nine yards and two yards. When we find the area of a rectangle, we can multiply side lengths. Multiply one of the side lengths by one of the other side lengths. So for number one, again, we have nine yards and two yards. So we can do nine yards times two yards. Nine times two gives us 18. And this is area, so we have square yards. The area of that rectangle is 18 square yards. And we are done. But what if we looked at this rectangle and did two yards times nine yards? Would that give us the correct area? Well, two yards times nine yards gives us 18 square yards as well. So that's also correct. We get the correct area either way. So just know that we can multiply side lengths to find the area of a rectangle. Let's move on to number two, where we actually have a square. But we can do the exact same thing for squares and it will work. We need to multiply side lengths. So we have seven meters and seven meters here. So we can do seven meters times seven meters in order to find the area. Well, seven times seven gives us 49, and this is square meters. And that's the area of that square. Let's move on to two more examples and take a look at numbers three and four. Taking a look at numbers three and four here, let's start with number three, where we have a rectangle with side lengths of three centimeters and 11 centimeters. Now notice, all four sides are labeled. So three centimeters, three centimeters, 11 centimeters, and 11 centimeters. This does not mean to multiply all four numbers, all four side lengths. We don't want to do three times three times 11 times 11. That will not give us the correct area. We take a three centimeter side length and multiply it by an 11 centimeter side length. So we can do three times 11 or 11 times three. Let's do 11 centimeters times three centimeters. 11 times three gives us 33, and this is square centimeters, so let's write that out. And I'm actually going to use the abbreviation here. So let's put SQ for square and CM for centimeters. So this is the area of that rectangle. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have Sam made a rectangular garden. The garden has side lengths of 10 feet and eight feet. What is the area of the garden? Let's start by drawing a quick picture to help us visualize. So we have 10 feet here and then eight feet here. So this is the garden. We have 10 feet, 10 feet, eight feet, and eight feet. So we need to find the area. Now I do wanna mention, if you drew the garden with eight feet on the sides and then 10 feet on the top and bottom, that would work as well. We're going to get the same area either way. So now let's find the area. We need to do 10 feet times eight feet or eight feet times 10 feet. So let's do 10 feet times eight feet. 10 times eight gives us 80 and this is square feet. So let's use the abbreviations here. So SQ for square and then FT for feet. That is the area of Sam's garden. 
80 square feet. Now we can also do 8 feet times 10 feet. That will give us the correct area as well. So there you have it. There's how to multiply side lengths to find the area of a rectangle. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.